In this part of the video, we will analyze the full 3D growth freedom aircraft lateral motion. The lateral motion of an airplane is disturbed from uh, its equilibrium state uh, is a combination of rolling, yawing, and side slipping. So essentially, there are three modes of motion in lateral directional, and uh, they are rolling, Dutch roll, and spiral. Um, rolling mode is um, exactly the same as the one degree of freedom rolling motion that we have discussed in the first part of this video. So the rolling is characterized by a first order motion and it is a highly convergent, um, fast and stable mode. Uh, the other mode is the Dutch roll mode and it is characterized by a coupled uh, lateral directional oscillation. So it is a, a concurrent oscillation in all three vari variables, which are the rolling, yawing, and side slipping. Um, and the rolling and yawing oscillations are actually out of phase. So um, the motion starts with a, a side slip perturbation, um, and then the aircraft begins to oscillate in roll, and then it starts to yaw. And then it rolls again and yaw again, all in um, desynchronized uh, motion. So the name Dutch roll is actually coming from the, the ice skating motion called Dutch roll because both um, have similar kind of motion. Uh, the Dutch roll is a second order motion um, and, and this motion can actually be quite bothersome to the passengers if the amplitude of the oscillation is high. Um, the other mode of motion is spiral mode which is a slow mode, which means it occurs very slowly. Um, the, the motion is initiated by a displacement in roll angle, um, which then would slowly increase the side slip angle, and, and it appears as a descending turn. Um, the motion is very gradual, that most of the time pilots can correct for it unconsciously, uh, however, if the airplane enters into a spiral motion and there's no corrective action by the pilot, the spiral can become tighter and steeper as time proceeds and this can lead to a spiraling, diving motion. So the spiral mode can be stable but it can also be unstable too. Um, the, the spiral mode is a non-oscillatory motion so we can characterize this by a first order system. Um, let's find the uh, let's uh, characterize the three modes of motion from the lateral directional equation of motion that we have here. Um, if we write the equation in state space form, um, uh, and here we just uh, make a change of variable from the side velocity to the side slip angle because it is more convenient to analyze the equation in terms of side slip angle. Uh, because the, the lateral, all of the lateral directional motion is generally influenced by the side slip. So once we have uh, the equation in state space, we can compute the characteristic equation. And um, in this case, we have a fourth order polynomial for the characteristic equation because it is a fourth order system. So from the characteristic equation, um, if we factor out some of the terms appropriately, we can see better now that we have three modes. We have one second order characteristic equation and two first order characteristic equations. Um, the second order characteristic equation would describe the Dutch rule, uh, while each of the first order system would describe either the roll mode or the spiral mode. So if we plot the root, we'll see the different locations of the roots signifying different types of motion. So the spiral, the spiral mode in this case, um, it's showing two roots, meaning it's actually a second order system, but realize that both roots are on the real axis, meaning this is not an oscillatory motion. So this must be a critically damped case, so its response would look exactly like a first order system. 
um, spiral is also very slow motion, so you'll see that the roots are very near the imaginary axis. Um, uh, spiral mode can be stable or unstable, so the roots can be positive or negative. Uh, rolling mode, on the other hand, is a very fast motion, so you'll find the root at the far left of the plane. Um, it is a first order system, so there's only one root to characterize the rolling mode. Uh, for Dutch roll, it's a second order system, um, and it's an oscillatory motion, so um, it's characterized by two roots, and these are complex, uh, a pair of complex conjugate roots.